Hello everyone, this is Daniele Bazzano for Master New Media and today I'm here with Matteo Ionescu, which is Robin Good's personal SEO. Hi Matteo, how are you? Fine, thank you Daniele. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. So Matteo, I wanted to ask you today, if I have WordPress installed on my website, how can I prevent any hacker attacks? Well, WordPress hacking has been a problem quite a lot of times, even on famous blogs uh, like all open source software. Uh, I suggest um, to keep your WordPress updated always to the latest version. Uh, be careful that uh, upgrading WordPress is easy, but uh, you should make sure first that all your plugins are compatible with the new version or you might experience some problems in some functionalities of your blog. Um, another big advice is to try to hide uh, which WordPress version you are using. Um, this is almost um, easily accomplished with a, a small plugin which is called WordPress version remover. Just install this plugin and um, on the head section of the uh, page it will not be shown anymore the version. Um, be careful also to have a closer look to the source code of your blog pages and see if the WordPress version is shown even on the footer because sometimes some themes call the WordPress version tag in the footer. So if, if this is the case, go on the, um, on the footer PHP file of your team and um, clean, uh, clean the WordPress um, version part. Okay, Matteo, thank you, but uh, I was just thinking, these were advices to prevent hackers to attack my site, but what if hackers have already screwed up my site? What can I do after? Okay, the best thing would be to replace uh, a backup. This is why I strongly encourage everybody to install uh, automatic database uh, backup. There are many plugins who can accomplish this ta task and uh, back up your FTP uh, at least once a month. This is a, a very good practice. Um, but if, be, if you have been hacked and you don't have a backup, uh, you can try to recover the situation, upgrading to the latest uh, version of WordPress, uh, making sure that there are no, no more backdoors for the hackers, like um, usernames that uh, are not uh, created by you, and uh, remove uh, some, if there are, some malicious scripts in folders that are not standard WordPress folders. You can download WordPress again and have a look at the structure of the folders and check that everything matches to uh, your, your own website. And then uh, change the password, uh, obviously, after upgrading, and edit your WP dash config dot php and uh, change or create the secret key definition. Um, this might be also a good practice on new blog um, to, to insert a random code, a random um, word in the secret key definition to make life more difficult for hackers. Okay, pretty much that's it. Thank you, Matteo. So you mentioned that uh, using plugins I can accomplish many things on my site. Would you mind just naming a few that can be useful? Oh, there are a lot of uh, WordPress backup um, plugins. Uh, I think there is a good one which is called uh, WP uh, Database Backup. But if you Google for Google database for WordPress database backup, you'll find a lot of uh, plugins who do this. Uh, besides that, you can also do it by hand using PHP My Admin, which is a very popular uh, interface that you find on most uh, hosting packages. Thank you very much, Matteo. This was surely useful. So I thank you, and I will talk to you later. Bye, ciao. Ciao.